welcome to another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clemenson, and today I want to ask you, how can we make it so that if we don't make a deal at the end of this process, we can still call it a success? Strange question to ask a recruiter because obviously we're here to make deals. That's he's literally our lifeblood. We talk about it to Ed him. Everything we do, mindset, technical, whatever, is to make more placements. And I know that sounds crass to a lot of people, but that is our reality. Fuel equals energy, or stored energy, and stored energy is we can deploy it on things that make us happy and do better things in the world. So money is not evil, but we want as much of it as we can in recruitment. So when this is the ethos and the fundamental sort of belief system for all recruiters and pretty much salespeople in the world, like our job is to sell, what do you do when you embark on a new strategy and you go, I want to do this in this time frame? How can we view it so that if we don't make a placement, we can still look at that exercise and go, that was a success? Hugely, hugely powerful question posed by a friend of the podcast, Sean. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you a bit of a story. Someone in my office, and we engage a lot of outside help all the time. Mindset's huge. Uh, it's not just me here. We get outside help all the time, um, different ideas, different perspectives. I have a guy in my office who says, <clears throat> I want to add a small but meaningful you know, extra bit to my desk. Okay, what's that? I want to want to add like one placement a month in this certain area. Okay, cool. So he was working with Sean and, and Sean just said to him, well, you know, that's going to take, there's some strategy there. It's going to take some effort. It's going to take resources. And I know your goal is to make a placement within a month in this new area, but how can we view it? What can we do along the way? that when we get to the end of the month, we haven't made a placement, or if we get to the end of the month, we haven't made a placement, how can we view it so that it was still a success? Phenomenal question, right? Because for a lot of people, a lot of recruiters, and probably myself, it's like, well, do or die. Like, make a placement or don't make a placement, right? That's the kind of like the, that is the black and white version of it. But when you actually dig deeper into what he's saying, he's saying, well, it, if it's worthwhile embarking on, it's probably worthwhile doing. You've probably got a hunch, you've probably got some ideas that this will work. So if we don't make it in a month, how can we look at it and go, let's use what we got out of it this month, what the positives were and how we go, that was a success, so that next month when you continue going on that path, you've got some fundamental stuff there. Great question, right? So how do we make it so that if we don't make a deal, we can still look at this as a success? And we kind of broke it down and went, we actually had to, we had to think about it. We, we had to sit down and go, I, I, what, would, what would make this a success? So we came up with a couple of things. It was like... Um, the first one was definitively know if this is a market worth serving or not. Like that was it. If we're not making a placement, I want to at least know it's a hell yeah, we're going to work this market or a hell no, we're, we're not going to work this market. You've heard me say this before. I hate grayness. I hate, uh, I hate maybes. I hate you know, like kind of in-betweens. Like I want definitive answers, right? So I thought if we can't make a placement, right, it's either – yeah, we didn't make a placement, but it's a red hot market. I'm keen as I know exactly where the opportunities are. Blah, blah, blah. Or yeah, didn't make a placement, and guess what? It's a shit market. Wrap it up. Let's move on. That was probably we would call that a success. Like we now know definitively. The second thing we came up to was assuming that it was a yeah, we're going to work it. Was that we've we've weaved this market into the weekly habits of this desk. So. Going into it, it was like, oh, I'd currently do this, and then I'm going to do this at the end of my quarter or this in this new market at the end of my quarter. And we said, well, maybe that's not the great way to look at it because it still feels like the outlier. It needs to be weaved through from day one into your desk and your daily and your weekly habits so that it just becomes part of your normal routine. We thought if we can, if we can get that. So, for example... This guy works on kind of two month cycles around the around these different markets and different you know pots of candidates that you can pull from and different whatever. Just because you can't headhunt from the same pool of people day in day out, particularly in some of these smaller pots. So he has a, a two month cycle, and he's like, I'm gonna we- I'm gonna weave it into that. I'm gonna put it into my 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 two monthly um, cycle, and that's a great way to view it too. I've, I've successfully implemented that into my current habits. So that was our second sort of you know, how can we look at this as a success if we don't make a placement? And the third one was we've got our system set up. Like our LinkedIn projects are done. Our client lists are pretty well formulated. and We kind of got some infrastructure underneath us so that next month, if we are deciding to continue on this path, we've got 
again, we've got a great candidate or whatever, we've got the infrastructure to just quickly go. We can just go. We don't have to do much more thinking or setting up. It's kind of set up. So infrastructure and systems set up. That were the three things we got out of it. But for you at home, it might be different. Um, but if you are, mate, the, the crux of this episode is not a long one because it's such a powerful question. When I heard it, I went, this has to be an episode because it's going to help someone. If you are either on a desk as a recruiter and you're embarking on a new strategy, you're embarking on a new market, or you're a manager and you're implementing some new strategies, you've got these ideas for a new market, you've got this idea for like maybe opening up a template or whatever that is, whatever you're embarking on doing, whatever's new in your life, that's a, it's to grow what you do and to try and get outcomes. Again, we're recruiters, right? We know what we're hunting. We're hunting placements. We want to make placements. But if you get to the end of the period you've set yourself you know, to get this done in, let's say a month, and you don't make a placement, how do we look at it and still view it as a success? Like when you can actually go, the goal is a deal, but we're also trying to tick these things off along the way. You're going to get to the end of the month and not be too cut up if you don't make that placement because you've got something to show for it. Okay. I hope that helps someone because it definitely helped me and it definitely helped someone in my office. Like, share, subscribe. It will really help us grow. As always, have an amazing day. May all your deals and other things come true. Oh, 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 oh,